Hello folks, Andrew Charles here from CompNow. I'm the Director for Commercial Government and Enterprise and I'm super, super excited to welcome Julian Critchlow to the Computers Now family. Um, you know, we've worked very, very closely with Julian over the last eight or nine years uh, from uh, an Extreme Networks perspective, but we've actually brought Julian into the CompNow business to head up our network and security sales. And Julian has a huge amount of experience, which I'm delighted to uh, you know, open up to uh, you know the rest of the market. And um, Julian, welcome. Thanks, Andrew. It's like been a, a whirlwind of the first eight days, and everyone's made me feel so welcome. It's been absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, you know how everyone interacts. The culture has been absolutely phenomenal. Really looking forward to you know learning more. Then finally getting out to market, um, seeing some customers, and talking around what we see out there in in the network and security space. Yeah, well, it's great to hear, Jules. And, and you, obviously, you, you know our business quite intimately, or you knew it from the outside quite intimately. Um, I don't think you were sort of aware of the, the, the true depth and breadth and scale of our logistics capability. Um, you know, we've seen the market change quite significantly uh, in relation to networking and security with, with a lot of new automation being developed, um, but also a lot of deliverables being required by the customer. How do you see CompNow's business being able to help scale large organisations' enterprise networking requirements? Yeah, it's a, it's a really good question, Andrew. And if we look at what the market is wants and needs from security and infrastructure, networking particularly, those are changing. The old uh, methodologies of you know how people you know, procured the equipment, deployed it, supported it, all that has to change given around some real key transformative things that are happening in this industry. Um, artificial intelligence being one, machine learning being another, automation and all those things helping with you know, business efficiency and security are really going to transform what you know, the market requires from that kit. And you're absolutely right, organisations have to be agile and they have to deliver that technology differently. And what I've seen at CompNow in my first week with you know, things like the new logistics centre have blown me away. The ability to take such a, a deliverable to a customer at such scale and be able to take technology, package it simply, and allow customers to procure and deploy and use effectively is absolutely what every single organization is going to want to need. And you know, as we carry on that journey, I think our position of just you know exceeding customer expectation around that is going to be absolutely first class. Yeah, no, look, that's great to hear, Jules. And, and um, uh, you know, it's refreshing that, that you've come in and, and, and you've seen firsthand um, you know, the investment that CompNow has made uh, in logistics, uh, and that's not just around networking, it's obviously around the, the rest of our business and, and, and you know, being that leader in the marketplace around technology lifecycle management and our ability to scale um, you know, for large organisations to deploy and redeploy thousands and thousands of devices. Um, networking, I see, will just tap into that structure and, and strategy. Um, Obviously, Jules, you've been involved in, in networking and security now for, for many, many years. You, you know, you, you started your career in, in the UK. Um, you know, you emigrated to Australia a, a number of years ago. Um, what's some of the biggest changes that you've witnessed over the last 10 years in particular uh, in, in relation to uh, you know, managing a, a large enterprise network? Sure, a very good question. And you know, I came to Australia just over 10 years ago, so this is pure uh, uh, my experience in, in Australia. And I think in certain verticals, we absolutely lead the way. You know, um, K-12 education, what Australia does compared to certainly back home for me in the UK is, is light years different. And I think lots of those transformations in infrastructure are really about how we are going to manage it to drive better outcomes um, for you know, the people that use the technology and the people that procure the technology. So over that 10 years, the management always was, especially in network infrastructure, incredibly siloed, incredibly separate, and the data network sits and generates and looks at so much traffic, and so much in, or your insight can be gathered from that, but quite frankly has not been able to be done. And what the next generation of management platforms are all bringing is the ability to take that data set analyze it and provide security information, user experience information. And that is going to be what really drives that transformation. How do I make this, you know, this investment drive a better outcome for, you know, what I'm really interested in a business. If it's healthcare, it's, you know, patient care. If it's education, it's, you know, the deliverable of education in the classroom. The technology is really now being able to align with business outcomes. And, you know, what we're going to see with organizations moving, you know, to the cloud. We're all talking about moving workflows to the cloud. Network management, security management will move to the cloud, regardless of whichever industry. There will be laggards, 
you know, key government sectors will be the last to move because of security, but they will go. And that's driven by the smarts that's coming down from what can be delivered in the cloud with artificial intelligence, machine learning. And if you look at some of the vendors that are really at the forefront of that in the marketplace, they are revolutionizing how organizations structure themselves, their cost investment they have to do in IT, especially in networking and, and security, to drive the correct levels of performance and the correct levels of you know, good corporate governance when it comes to security, to make sure that their infrastructure is safe and their enterprises can function. Jules, you mentioned healthcare earlier. Um, you know, you know and I both know that, that from a networking perspective, a lot of healthcare environments are very, very underdone right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they are, are budget constraints, there are political silos between the different departments trying to get budget to refresh networks or, or to, uh, you know, uh, bring resources in to, to assist with trying to get their network under control. Um, what type of technologies are you seeing out there in the marketplace from the vendors that CompNow works with uh, that are really going to assist healthcare driver a really solid networking strategy moving forward? Absolutely. If we stick to the networking in the healthcare sector, there's really you know, a couple of key differences and approaches that are coming into the market. Traditionally, healthcare was conservative. Um, connectivity would, be want, would want to be that blue wire experience. That is all virtually all gone now and it is predominantly a Wi-Fi first environment, which is great because you know, I can start looking at how to give doctors uh, visiting medical offices a better access to provide patient care at the bedside. Mm -hmm. I can start looking at where the data entry is, is all done digitally, and I can you know, have profiles of what the doctor or nurse needs to see as they go around the hospital. Where previously, if you're on a blue wire, you're stuck to a terminal, your workflows are, are particularly poor. So from a network point of view, that is really about how do I deliver services quickly and efficiently across the infrastructure, but predominantly how do I build a Wi-Fi network that allows clinical grade and truly mission critical applications to function on something that is historically had a, a reputation of, it's not the blue wire experience, I can't deploy critical services to this. That the perception has changed and must change across all uh, hospitals. So. When I look at the, the facilities and capabilities here at CompNow with what you know has been done in the past with you know Wi-Fi deployments, you know site surveying work, and all that all that you know, smarts that goes into building a correct Wi-Fi network, that's one of the key simple things that you know healthcare really should be looking at is is Wi-Fi first, a really service orientated way of delivering um, to you know patients, doctors, nurses to drive you know that digital transformation that they can do their jobs at the bedside with a mobile device and really accelerate how they interact with the patient, more efficiency, better patient care. And, and Jules, in your professional opinion, um, do you think it's better for a large or medium-sized healthcare organisation to try and roll out the technology themselves or put their trust and faith in an organisation with very skilled engineering capabilities large logistics and deployment centres um, and management tools and automation to assist them with a seamless rollout? I, I, absolutely they should. I mean, what a, what a healthcare organisation is, is predominantly there to do is specialise in getting people well. Mm. And now obviously IT is a big part of that, but they should be leveraging re like, you know, their relationships in market, organisations like CompNow, to drive that outcome, because it's not what they specialise in, right? What they, you know, they should be looking at the, you know, the design build in the hands of um, specialists. If they want to run it themselves, that's a different conversation. But really, organisations that are uh, trying to run such critical infrastructure should be like, talking to organisations such about ourselves about, okay, how can we add value into that? It could be the consultative approach. Hey, this is what our market experience has given us. We are seeing this as a transformation in other places, maybe overseas, maybe locally. You should be looking at it as well. Let us come in and help design, talk around that, workshop that, how that could impact your workflows internally. And then it's, okay, can we assist with the deployment, the onboarding, the training, and so on. Trying to build such highly complicated and, and technical you know, interactions across different workflows in healthcare is a challenge. And you, know, you have to scale up your organization to do it, then scale down, bringing in resources like CompNow to help with that scaling and, and of resource management tied to the logistics that we can offer. I think that's a, a very, very safe and sound approach. So what you're saying is the, the, the easier it is to manage a network and to have resources available at your beck and call and technology to replace technology that might have um, broken, um, it might have been corrupted by a security hack, um, 
It, it might have been damaged in transit. Um, it's, it's really critical that, that uh, an organisation can quickly access a replacement part mm -hmm. for their network to keep it going. Yeah, and I can, that's one thing I've been very, very impressed with in my first week in Viticom now is that in technology lifecycle management piece and, and attaching that to something that has been so adjacent to that in network and security for infrastructure, I can see the packaging that can be done to drive that sort of, of high level of assurance that if you have some kind of issue, if you have a technological fault, if you have some kind of service delivery, the issue that come now with its logistics uh, capability and what's in the logistics center can really react very, very quickly and drive that type of SLA that's needed for an organization, especially in healthcare or anything as critical as that. I think that's going to be a very, very key part. And I say matching it into a technology lifecycle management type process is the way that infrastructure is going to go. And I, you know, I can see the potential here of that so strongly, and I, I can't wait to get out there speaking to you know, customers about the value that that's going to bring. And, and the good news is, as you mentioned earlier, with, with some of the new AI technology that some of the vendors that we work with have developed over the last eight years or so, and prior to that, um, that seamless transition of a wireless access point, for example, alerting uh, an organisation like Comp now that it's about to fail, uh, and before you even know it, that wireless access point being replaced, uh, it just is a game changer, really, isn't it, Jules? It's, it absolutely uh, is. Where you know connectivity, the, the point of failure is going to be the device itself, whether it's one of those things on the ceiling or on, on a switch port hidden behind the wall. They do fail over time, and having that. AI approach, which is driven by the cloud management platforms that really are going to become key um, over the next you know, 12, 24 months, you know, hooked into the systems um, via our APIs, driving that sort of really proactive um, management of an infrastructure where you say, you know, it's not the access point's failed, it's the access point is reporting that is, it is probably going to fail sometime soon. Yeah. And then a, a, an actual replacement unit comes already pre-configured yeah. that is really three, uh, three clicks, 10, 15 seconds to swap. And, and avoid that downtime scenario. Mm. That is where the technology is going to go as a capability that can be unlocked. You know, and it's great that at Comp now we are unlocking that tape, uh, that capability for customers to take advantage of. And you know that 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 sort of approach of that proactive nature is going to become critical. And the fact we're doing it now yeah. is absolutely you know blew me away in my first week. No, I think that well, it's great to hear, Jules. Look, I'm going to change the conversation a little bit. One of the things I'm seeing out in the marketplace, particularly in in higher education, are a lot of human resources being sucked up <coughs> to manage legacy rigid networking infrastructures, you know, and infrastructures where you've got large cores, lots of routers, controllers managing wireless access points. Uh, you know, one of the things I'm seeing out there is, is this conversation around fabric mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the way that fabric and, and controlling these complex networks at the very edge of the network, um, utilising proprietary technologies that some of our vendors bring to market, has really uh, seen a, an administration burden being reduced. Um, and 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 you know um, CIOs within within large um, you know university campus environments redeploying those resources to 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 to, to basically you know, get involved in more innovative tasks. You've been involved in some of these projects over the, the years, Julian. Tell me a little bit about your experience with with Fabric. Mm -hmm. You know, without you know naming any particular vendors because a few of them talk about it now. Yeah. Um, you've actually been a leader around, you know, designing these complex, um, uh, well, taking complex solutions and making them less complex. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the fabric journey going into the future? I, I look, it's, it's a brilliant question, and I guess for every campus environment that has felt the pain of, of the complexity. Now, the complexity is born out of what is probably now 25, 30 years of incredible engineering work, you know, built over time on top of each other to deliver the outcomes we, we know and love. However, as we've started to add more new complexities on, like how do I get this infrastructure to start talking about AI when it's all on premise mm. and it's all interconnected and nested with lots of protocols stacked? How do I start dealing with IoT on my Wi-Fi? These sorts of things are complex questions that really have stretched what was there historically probably to breaking point. Um, the cost, you know, benefit analysis just does not stack up now that there are alternatives on the market. And, you know, um, that entire fabric approach of designing the infrastructure differently, simplifying it down, making it much more what we expect from technology, plug and play, you know, easy point and click, deploying services in one or two places, not touching every single box as I go to 
get an outcome, going straight to, you know, automating that connectivity as, as a almost a baseline step. That massively alters, you know, the cost of running an infrastructure from where we've been previously, which is these monolithic silos of box by box and node by node configuration changes to now fabrics, which are, I'm going to configure a service, the fabric deploys it itself. You know, if I'm a hospital, I can deploy a new medical type service instantaneously during the day. If I'm a higher education, I can start running a new research network that's secure virtually instantaneously. If your network infrastructure cannot follow that model and has no roadmap to that model, realistically over the next two to three years, that will have to change. Layer on top that real again, if that, that infrastructure cannot look at it being managed by some kind of cloud that can tie into AI to drive efficiency, again, that will almost certainly have to change. No, look, brilliant, Jules. Well, look, guys, you've heard it first here today. Um, we have some incredible solutions that we'd love to talk to you about. We're really at the, the forefront of the most modern network and security solutions that are available in market. Um, look, CompNow, as you guys know, provides IT custom built for your needs. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch with me or contact your CompNow account manager or email us at info at compnow.com.au. Jules, absolute Thank pleasure to have you on board and part of the CompNow family. Look forward to working closely with you. Cheers, Andrew. Really looking forward to it as well. No dramas, thanks. Okay.